called Bring Your Tactics. A chance for you to bring in your tactics. And of course, we play with them. It's not critique. I'm not going to say your tactics is terrible. <laughs> We're just going to play with it. Maybe come up with some different strategies for your tactic. Because as we all know, sometimes when we play the game of Football Manager, changing the mentality is something nobody wants to do. Or maybe uh, you heard the curse, right? Oh my God, you're winning by 3-0. Why do you want to change your mentality for? You're going to lose. So on this show, we do things a bit differently. We do changes. We see what kind of little tweaks we can make to the system. So yes, and we're doing it with our favorite team. I mean, for the week. <laughs> that like go Madrid. We'll use some different teams the next time around. And uh, we've got a few tactics we want to try out today. Let's go. Uh, these were the tactics from last week. We'll try our first tactic. You know, these are my tactics. Okay, we go into BYT. We've got three tactics here. we got something called 4 2 3 one Dijer Dijerby style. This is interesting. Okay, quick pick. Okay, obviously. Oh, speaking of which, Philippe is leaving uh, Atletico Madrid. He's joining some team in England. Oh, that's a good signing. Uh. Yeah, that's a surprise, surprise. Philippe is now going to be in England. Oh. Okay, so here we go. Players are here. For a quick pick. Oh, let's go through your tactic first. Wow, okay. More direct, stay wider, tackle harder. Okay, one thing I have to remember, right? Um, see, inside forward, winger... Inverted wingers, they're all hard coded. Right? They, they are they are called inverted for a reason because eventually they are going to invert no matter what you do. So that stay wider is gonna make him invert. So he might stay wider in this phase, which is supposed to do, but then when he gets closer to here, he will be closer to that fullback. Right. I've got a video coming up very soon on this. But you know, so if you want a role, stay wide all the way as a winger. Yeah, so this is something to bear in mind. Uh, inside forward, inside forward. Uh, AM on attack with a lot of PIs. More direct cross less. Why would you why would you worry about cross less often? He's good, hardly ever going to cross, right? <laughs> Roll from position, move. Okay, tackle other mic tighter. That's a lot, man. And this this is a tendency to do something. Yeah, because he's got place one twos, which is uh, we'll, we'll, put, we'll put somebody else here so that we don't see place one twos a lot. So we'll put Griezmann there. I think Griezmann doesn't have that. I doubt he has that. Yeah, there we go. Okay, then we got inside for Carrasco, stay wider, tackle ladder. Why is this different and why is this different? Okay, maybe you just want hard uh, direct passes. Here, Mark Taita. Okay. Then you got Volante with tackle harder, tackle harder, tackle harder, tackle harder, tackle harder, tackle harder. Okay, no tackle harder there. I was expecting to see tackle harder. <laughs> TD, stay furious, tackle, tackle harder. Okay. Tackle harder. Tackle harder. Tackle harder. The whole team is tackling harder except for this guy. Okay. Maybe you have a strategy for this. Okay. So this is custom control. Uh, you've got work ball into box. Focus play to the middle. Play our defense. Shorter tempo. Uh, um, a lot of, I, mean, I won't say a lot of wall passes, but generally you'll be fearing wall passes. Players will be closer together. Running a defense. Be more expressive. This is just, you know... At higher mentalities, players also have more creative freedom, but this is just a bit more... Okay, you can expect a bit more disorganization when you're coming back, especially on higher mentalities. So, sometimes you you might see players that are not in their positions, right, when they come back. So, this could happen when you do be more be more expressive. Take short case, distribute set back, slow pace down. Slightly higher tempo. So the whole team is told to move up very quickly, but the keeper is told to take your time to do it. Seems a bit strange. Seems a bit strange, but never mind. Uh, prevent short goalkeeper distribution with the trap outside. So, I, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to remove all these clear. Bang. Okay. I'm not touching them, right? Okay. Because I am not a fan of trap outside. This trap instructions never been. Never been a fan of this. Okay, wing back, but it can work. I'm not saying it's a bad instruction. I say it can still work, but I'm, I I have I've never needed to use it in FM3. Not even once. I never even under the direst of circumstances, I've never had to click that. The, for me, the fewer instructions I give my players, the happier I am. Because you know, you know, give them give them fewer instructions. I am that kind of person. So we got Hamoso. Uh, we we don't want him, right? He's 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 gonna have issues when he's not the we get Philippe here. 
Can Philip be a ball playing defender? I mean, he's got first touch. He's got some dribbling. Yeah, this this is enough, right? He should be able to do the job. You got Savage. Uh, okay, jumping is thirteen again. Not exactly what we want to see. We us. I wish we could. Okay, never mind. We we don't want to tire our play. Score. Okay, we'll get Saul in. Uh, we got Griezmann. Griezmann is not hundred percent. Jao Felix can play. Lema will ask Lema to play here then. All right. So Lema is not exactly. Okay, he can play this position. So. So what we got here? Um, okay, okay, all right. Guess into our position area, you'll find players with finishing and compo finishing, uh, good finishing of the ball. They can, they will, you can teach them straight. Now, what is it? It's just basically players who like to score goals, right? Guess into our position area. That's uh, inside robo. He runs the ball often because he's got good dribbling. Okay, all right. Okay, we'll try this out. Um, overall, there's a lot of uh, these guys are attacking, these guys are attacking, so there's going to be a fair bit of ball carry you need in this tactic from the wing back. So let's just play and see what happens. Exactly, right? New Bathgate. I thought that would be, yeah, I, I, I'm in the, of the opinion, right? You, you have a lot of this tackle harder, right? So why don't you do this? All right, hey, remove all of them, right? I would okay. Never mind. We leave it first. We leave it. We, I, I will explain why it's actually more effective to use the instruction, right? Because like this, right? This telling the players to stay on feet, right? It's not exactly um, going to make the. I mean, tackle harder in itself is telling players to go to ground to tackle. Stay on feet tells players to stay on feet. That means don't go to ground. So it's not like this game doesn't have like a zero, like an off switch for going to ground because players with high aggression could still go to ground, right? So I'm I'm not a big, I mean, very attacking tactics. I do tend to use tackle harder sometimes, but yeah, that was a thing in FM22. No, no I have never had to use tackle harder as a PI so this year. But I, I get its value because you'll see a lot of chaos in the center of midfield with tackle harder. All right, let's go. Um, we're going to watch this on with comprehensive. Oh man, that's so long. Extended. Okay, we'll do extended. Okay, comprehensive is a bit long. 2D classic. How's that? So we can see how these wingbacks perform, right? We want to see how wingbacks, you know, these guys come inside. Korea. Korea is basically a winger. He's generally what we call a winger. So his right foot is very strong, so we can expect him to go down the flanks and do the crosses, right? Likes to beat opponents, runs with ball, with, runs with ball often, but he's got a right foot. So this player on the right flank, playing as an inside forward, okay, he's gonna play like a winger. What about this guy? He's got a very strong right foot. So okay, on the left side, he is gonna come inside, okay, but this guy is gonna go down the flanks most of the time. Okay, so he's not always gonna play like a uh what about him does he have a left foot yeah he's got a very strong left foot so what we're gonna do is we're gonna sort these two okay that way we can see your roles performing huh wow this is zoomed in ultra zoom okay valacano korea shoots okay let's uh throw in okay let's see what happens here dimitri do, 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 do. okay d line is perfect yeah it's good uh philippe brings the ball forward ball playing defenders do that nah see this there's a bad the players have to have good passing from here right see this guy comes in right this is the inside forward remember what i said earlier they don't stay white <laughs> so if you're thinking i want them to stay white why they don't stay white they just it's, it's hard coded it's hard coded they're gonna be here you can put stay wide, you can put a sticker to this guy and tie him down here, break the thing, you break the lock and the pad, uh, pad lock and they come back here again. Yeah, because these roles are hard coded. Yeah. Right, they are hard coded because this guy's gonna come in on his left foot and he's gonna do this as an inside forward. So if you want that extra width, you're playing a winger, a winger role, right? But you can, wingers also can score goals. Wingers on attack, with or playing with the opposite, the opposite the other foot, they will still try and get into the area to score goals. So if you want somebody out wide, like stretching the team, or whatever reason you want them to do that, then yeah, use a winger. So this wing back, yeah, this, remember your width instructions? This width instructions? And your focus play to the middle. That is the reason why all the players are doing this. See this? Go back here. 
notice the pass from him is going to come inside, right? right? All the passes are coming inside. So notice just now this guy's passing it inside as well. See, he comes inside. Focus straight to the middle, plus with your width. So this is, you're passing it into the center. The general problem with this kind of a tactic is going to be um, if you meet a three-man midfield like a 4-3-3. Because then, their 4 3, three is going to outnumber your players. Their 3 is going to outnumber these two. So when you, they come up here, because this guy is actually holding position, right? So what you need is, that's why I said you need ball carry. You need somebody bringing the ball up for you. Maybe the wing backs that will bring the ball up for you. Maybe you have to ask the center mids to move to the left side a bit more to support play down the flanks as the wing backs get into the area. See what they're doing right now? So they're getting into the area. So in this kind of a tactic, while it's possible uh, to do what you're doing, this role is on attack. So they're all pushing forward. So this Volante doesn't really have a lot of friends except for him. The only person holding his hand is being his good friends of Volante. In this setup, you need this guy to be a support duty. So he drops and he works with the Volante. Then the two of them can release because this guy is on defense duty. Right? So you're double pivot. Although they do push up, right? They will push up. This guy is going to be isolated. So your attack pattern um, against a 4 3, -3 is going to find problems because it's going to struggle because the moment he meets a 4-3-3 that 4-3-3 is going to overpower your team right because you you your wing backs you know you're waiting for the wing backs to come up and you're every and you're just telling your team hey you know pass it through the middle pass it through the middle but you know your players in the middle they're only there's only one <laughs> poor volante man very very sad the volante is going crazy after that can a striker with average to low decisions? So yeah, of course. Um, Ocha stays in the box. For strikers, strikers usually, I, I'm more worried about concentration and decision making. I mean, ideally you want them to have good decisions, but uh, I don't know which level you're playing in, but normally I, I will have priorities. Decision making is not bad, but you know, like, you know, we only have a player with poor decision-making. Sometimes he should pass when he should shoot, right? So that's the problem, the, the, the challenge that you'll face. Okay, so we first half we've done. So I'm going to change this to an AP or maybe a, AM and support. I'm going to drop him back. More direct, cross less off. I'm going to remove all this. It doesn't need all this, right? Tackle other, mark tighter. I mean, yeah, that can work, I guess. Move into channels. Okay, all right. Okay, now I kind of want to open you up a bit more fairly wide and instead of doing a focus play to the middle which is not your strength I'm going to go focus play down the left and the right this way at least focus play down the left because here we can use these players to move the ball up the pitch the problem is this is our only goal, sc good goal scorer right I'm going to turn this guy into a support duty because he still holds position he still holds position as one now remember this role is an in inverted inside forward on attack what I can do with him instead of this I'll play him as a winger on attack. Now I want him to give me as much width as possible. He's going to stay white, right? Because he's a winger. Right, we've got this guy coming in. We've got DLP. We've got this guy. We've got this guy. Okay, so now we've got these roles moving up. No, if I wanted a natural overlap without having to worry about underlaps and overlaps and all that Mickey Mouse shit, okay, I'll leave this wing back. I'll leave this inside forward. Okay, now this is a complete forward. It's basically a role that Jack or if He's a good player, like basically. Okay. Now, if you don't have that kind of a player, I would recommend pressing forward on attack. Advanced forward can also work. Yeah. Complete forwards can work, but they're roaming. I mean, they move from left to right. They hold up the ball, waiting for somebody. You know, they, 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 it's like I like this guy just to stay in the box or at least go to the flank to support the player. Somebody else will come in and try and score a goal, that kind of thing. Okay. So, oi, we can see the goal. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, okay. Your trap inside, trap outside didn't work, right? I'm not a big fan of trap inside, trap outside. You know why? Okay, I'll tell you why your trap is a very bad idea. Attack duty, attack duty. But you're still telling them trap here. Who's trapping them? Only one player. So I'm going to remove this completely. Okay. I'm going to come inside here. Instead of a trap, I'm just going to tell him uh opposition player this guy play down the flanks don't don't pass it to these two i force him to dribble okay so we do left 
force him to dribble dude like get yeah, this player uh, we're not gonna do i mean you already got you you already white the living daylights out of these players so i'm not gonna do it so right cross left cross okay so we're gonna just tell them to cross the ball <laughs> so the problem right now is you don't know you don't have enough carry in your tactic okay so this guy's not coming out the pitch so my advice is uh getting some carry in your pitch right so okay we're gonna change a few things right now okay so we got a lot of yellow cards already we have to start we have to start doing things uh this guy is a wing on support this guy should mm, okay we will, we'll, this is dlp this is volante okay i'll tell you what we'll swap this guy we'll turn this guy i, I need combinations right now to work okay the problem right now is that we got volante carries the ball up we got this guy trying to create something from a very deeper position but you're playing such a high Press higher defensive line. And asking your players to drop off more. I'm just going to squeeze the space. Yeah, it's already deep formation. We might as well just step up more. Okay, DLP, Volante. The problem is, if we want to create goals, right? We want this guy to get in there and at least be a second goal scorer. So what we'll do is we'll play the DLP here. Sell the left. And we'll put the Volante here. All right, now the Volante can go up. But we now we just ask him to be a wing on support. So now he's staying wide. Volante will work with this guy, right? So we have a player who's giving us width. You can actually play this as a complete wing back or even an inverted wing. Oh, sorry, complete wing back. All right now, run at defense. A lot of people are running, so we'll just dribble less. There's no real high, slightly higher tempo is not helping your course no? yeah, because you're asking the players to move the ball up very quickly. So we'll just drop the tempo down. Okay. Um. Slow the pace. I'm gonna remove this because this is uh, you. You got high tempo, and then you're telling your goalkeeper to take your own to take the, his own sweet time to pass the ball. By the time he passes the ball, all the all the teams have already set back and defend. Complete forward and attack. This is one of the most cop out rules in the game. I don't like this rule very much because it does a lot of things. He does holds up ball, dribble more, take more risk, move to just wrong for position. It holds up the ball for other players, right? So let's just go some. Let's get somebody who can move left, move right, create some space. I put some of the defenders under pressure. So their best role for that is actually pressing forward attack. Okay. This guy's gonna move left, move right. right? So he's gonna that role and maybe even the advance forward. These roles are pretty good. He becomes a focal point of attacks. So you can choose one of these roles. Now what we now have is a tactic that's got a role moving up and down. Generally, when you play this kind of uh guys, uh yeah, this is this is not bad. He can actually start from deeper positions. So Saul can move up. Lema will drop deep now. He's got a left, right? So he's got a left foot. So what will happen is he will use his left foot to play the ball over the top, much like an inverted winger, but he'll do it from a wider position. Okay, so we got Regulian on the left. Uh okay, we we'll just try this now. I think this will be enough for your tactic. Um let's see. Okay, step up. Okay, all right, now let's go. Okay, let's try that. To do, to do, puppy power, unite. Okay, there we go. First build up, Philippe. This Kondong beer. You see what has happened? You need carry, you know? This players have to carry the ball. So we already overlap. We done the focus play on one side. So we got carries happening. And we got movement in our tactic as well. Yeah, that was the first time we... That was before we changed it, right? So now we have changed it. Okay. Okay, much better and okay, we got movement in the final third see what is such a simple change to your tactic you get all the dynamic movement that you need from your tactic to go from transition to transition right only problem now this guy if you're playing a 4 2 3 one like this this these two guys they get the moment they get tired you start looking for substitutions straight away you know these guys are the worst players to get tired man right? if they get tired you start crying Okay, Philip, it's okay. Eh? You, you get tired all the time. Okay, Yannick Carrasco. He's playing on the left as an inside forward. You see, the he comes in. You want this player to have a right foot. Okay, so you look for another player who's got a right foot. Okay, Cunha. Cunha can come on for Carrasco. Okay, then we got Molina. Is Molina has no more juice in him. Okay, all right. Never mind. We'll see what happens. He's going to give up. Yeah. Do not play with trap outside. Especially the worst time to play trap outside, right? Is when you have like one attack duty and one. I think the trap outside is the. I hate trap outside. Like I do, very much. <laughs> Just like you, you. It's like an instruction that says, it's a. It does a bit of angling and tells players to come back and help you defend, right? It does it does do that? I mean, it can work sometimes, but I rather keep it simple. 
Okay, here, we're going to take this guy, put Rodrigo to Paul here. And he's managed to put one back. But I would, this is how I would play a tactic. All right, so I'll play a winger. You want stay white. You want to stay white. So I give you stay white. You want inside forward kind of player. I give you the same thing. It's exactly the same thing. You're just going to play from these positions. Much better. So you're going to stretch the players. You play inside forward and you tell him to stay white. Not always going to happen that way. Right? So he's always going to come. He, he will always invert. There's nothing you can do about it because the rule is hard-coded. What you can also get from this kind of movement is because you have a left footer, here's a natural overlap from this guy. This guy's come out, we'll give do a natural overlap. If you really want like an easier overlap, then play him as an inverted winger. He comes in, this guy, that's a natural overlap. But then, this volante will have to do a lot of hard work, right? So he has to come out of the pitch. So you probably will be better served doing uh, defenders like this. Something like that. I mean, this could work, ball playing defender. Only problem is sometimes the ball playing defender comes up. Hey, he doesn't get this guy partnering him. Okay, you, I will try CD on defense, but I'll be willing to change this to ball playing defender eventually. I would not. I mean, I am my inner inner me says play ball playing defender here. So you see what has happened? I like that movement from the winger now. You see, because the winger has got a left foot, right? So he comes inside, plays the pass. So he comes from a wider position as well. And the thing I would remove right now from your tactic is this. All this tackle other, I will remove. I will remove all this. Yeah, I will remove sit narrow. You don't. You play wing back. Don't ask me to sit narrow. Wait. Right, you, you want him to sit narrow. You want him to come inside. If you want him to come inside, play as an inverted wing. But even if you play like a, a setup like this, right, with two two DMs, he will come inside. But he won't sit here like an inverted wing back will do, right? So you get the narrow. So if you want, just play this. There are roles that do this. You see, sit narrow. Use them instead. But I would remove all these tackle harders from all these players. Right? If you want to, what you do is you go to opposition instructions and designate those players that you want to see tackle harder. Like I do it to the central three here. So that I rem no, we, we put as much pressure on them as possible. So it's much more effective using it as an OI than it is to use it as a PI. Because a PI, any Tom, Dick and Harry, they tackle hard. <laughs> okay. But as an OI, they target the players. Right? So you can target specific players with the OI. And yeah, this is so much more that He starts from a wider position and pulls players away. This is a, uh, this is how I would set up your 4 2 3 one. Okay. 4 2 3 ones are quite fun to play, especially um, these kind of setups. But your chat, your problem was isolation. You got three, four attack duties running off like that. Nobody is bringing the ball up. So we we struggled. So what I did was I put this guy here because DLP is holding position. He will hold position. Right, he will definitely hold position. So you put the DLP here. You put the Volante here. You play this as a winger. Support. You play this as a wing back. And then you got your attacking pattern already. Because this guy will come up. This guy is a playmaker. This guy is an AP on S. That's it. Now you got this configuration here that's damn very nice. Okay. And APs, right? They will draw, they'll move here, they'll move there. And then this guy can be an AF. He can be a PF. He can be a poacher. You choose. You know how powerful this role is now? It's like right now, if you play him as an AF, very good against teams that are attacking you, leaving you a lot of space. You meet a team that's sitting back and defending 90 minutes, turning into a poacher. And you got this guy attacking on mark, coming in on mark. Because this poacher is holding the attention of defenders. And you got this player coming in, dropping atomic bombs on the center of the area. And then you've got another one from deeper areas looking to do the same thing. So you get a lot of movement and we you will score goals coming in from this side. Either this guy, this wing back is gonna come this way, this inside forward can come in. Yeah, you're gonna get goals. Okay. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a defensive 4-3-3. As if the 4-3-3 was not defensive enough with this tree here. He's gone defensive. Does this mean it's a defensive tactic? No, it just means that he's got wants to take low risk, right? So let's look at his low risk setup. Okay, he's got wing back coming up. This inside for said, yep, this guy's gonna do a natural overlap. You don't have to worry about putting the overlap on him. He's he's gonna come running, charging down the flanks. Inside forward, okay, fine. That can work. Yeah, he he will create goals and he will score. Right. 
Then we got inside four here. He's attacking the space. We got a posture there. Very nice. Masala going this way. Fullback. Mm, okay, fullback. That's all right. Yeah, fullback can work. A bit safe, but yeah, it can work. There's nothing wrong with this com combination. In fact, this combination is fine. Uh, play for set pieces makes you... What are you doing? <laughs> remove lah. Don't be such a... Okay, I, cannot, I cannot remove this. What's the rule of this show? We do not change tactics until the 45th minute mark. Okay? All right, quick pick. So we got Koke, Felix. Felix, can he play as an inside forward? Yes, he can. Can Griezmann play as a inside forward? Yes, he can. Can he be as a bocho? Of course he can. Mazala, one of the best in the game. No, no doubt about it. It still can be defender. Ronaldo, Homoso, Gimenez, and Savage. Okay, problem is we don't have a right back. Uh, all the defenders have got very poor jumping reach. This should be fun. Okay, yeah, let's see how you think. I doubt if your tactic needs a lot of changes. In before three goals from three kicks in the first half. Ah? Oh. <laughs> I don't do. I mean, I play for set pieces up to you all. Uh, you know, I'm just like. I'm already, I already hate the set piece creator so much. Okay. Man, when I see people put play for set pieces, I'm like. <laughs> okay, that means you got to set up your set pieces. Okay, not bad. You see? Good compression in your tactic. Ah, Mozala is going to get to goal scoring positions. Just got to keep that. That's a very safe thing. Poacher did nice. Griezmann. I think this tactic is a potentially a high possession tactic as well. You know, you just have to you can easily uh shift it, shift the gear and play high up the pitch. Uh, of course, this tag these guys remember I don't have any OIs, huh? These kind of tactics I heavily rely on OIs. I will have the angle set up. Yeah. Because I want them all to um end up being tackled by my three players. Especially this kind of a setup, right? Okay. In fact, this one, in this tactic, we are playing against this formation, right? Okay. All right. All right. We have to wait until the 45th minute. I can't do anything at the time my hands down. Okay. I would rather their wingbacks not be able to pass the ball to their central midfielders. So I will show them, keep them away. That means the left back is put shown to his left foot. Of course, it doesn't always work because sometimes these guys have too good feet, right? You see, this is not bad. Put back on support there. Griezmann inside forward goes, yep into the area. This guy's going to do a natural overlap. He doesn't. He comes through the middle. Okay, nice. Yeah. Mosso, Ronaldo. Back. Nah, play for set pieces. There. <laughs> Please not. Okay. All right. If you like it, you go for it. Eh? <laughs> I, I do not the sort to play it. Okay. Goes in. Ah, got it behind you. You can see the goal. I have to keep my hands to myself. I'm not allowed to touch the tactic for the first 45 minutes. That's my rule. This is your tactic playing. Now, there's a reason why that happened. So we have to address it. Okay, Savage. Aye, what is, yeah, fullback on support would do that. Okay, especially on defensive mentality. Hey, Chico, how are you? Eh, natural overlap coming from the wing back. So I didn't want to touch it, right? You have a natural overlap happening, right? Wing back on, a, <laughs> wing back on attack with inside forward and support. Natural overlap. You don't have to add it. It will happen. So that with good work. Wing back again. Dalji, hold your hands. Don't change anything. Okay. Nice. Ball playing defender to the poacher. Forgot he was in blue. I was cheering for wrong team. <laughs> You're cheering for the wrong team. Sorry. That's two goals, right? We're not touching. Huh? We're not touching. Whose tactic is this? Are you in chat right now? Whoever this is. Are you in chat? It's not a bad tactic. I like it. The few things I would change is people said, Jesus. That's because it's me. <laughs> Uh, there are options with your tactic. One of them is the left flank. Yeah. All right. Nice work. There we go. Nice. Hey, I mean, this is good. This is good. I like this tactic. Like it. Reminds me of. Reminds me of uh, <laughs> my own. Lot four three three. Uh. Catchy tong. How are you, brother? How do we balance the midfield roles? Like you explain the balance in what positions. Balancing the midfield roles. Uh, balancing midfield is all about control, brother. Control, that's it. Midfield is all about how you control the space, right? So let's say sometimes you do Mazala, Mazala. Sometimes a 4 4 2 diamond, you put Mazala, Mazala, right? You put DM, right? How are you controlling the space? You're controlling the space by making sure that you have passing options. The Mazalas go a bit wide. Then, you, in that case, you want somebody who's very, very strong. Then you need a strong role in the center. A DM is probably the best role. Right, to keep the to keep the to keep the the center strong which is the reason why I don't play halfback 
you need to use Mazala, Mazala. So you, you, all you got to do in this game is understand how the roles move. That's it, right? Once you understand how the roles move, then you, you know the Mazala is going to the hard space. You know that the Mazala is going to the hard space, right? So it's very obvious that you cannot have somebody who is, you need somebody who's in the center, right? So that's why I, I'm not a big fan of the halfback with the double Mazala. Okay, time to change tactics. Okay, so what do we got here? We got wing back attack, CD, CD, ball play defender, stopper, uh uh. Play defender, we'll turn you to cover. Yeah, then we'll turn you into wing back on support. Why? Because he's too far away from this guy. So we don't get enough uh, attention when we do the ball up the pitch. Box to box comes up, DM on defend, inside forward. This is fine. Actually, we don't need this guy. Just put CD on defend. Okay, CD on defend, defend. This guy brings the ball up. Inside forward here, inside forward attacking here. Mazala coming into this position. Um, hmm. Okay, I mean, we could do that. Okay. Uh, pass into space, we're not going to use that. Nah, pass into space should never be a default. Never should be a... It should never be a default. Okay. Play out of defense. Um, that's fine. Uh, we'll ball into box if you're good enough. Slightly more direct, no point. Right, keep it shorter. You can have a higher tempo as well. Yeah. Uh, we'll do dribble less. We want to do a lot of one-touch pass. We're going to move the ball up the pitch quite fast. you got a lot of players that can do that. I want to... Okay. You can move the ball up the pitch quite fast because you've got so many so many triangles in close proximity to each other. Okay. Um, this is this. This is this. Fine. Okay. This is fine. All right. We, we're a goal down. Right? I'm just going to go to balance mentality so that we're pushing up high up the pitch. Okay. Okay, touch, take shot, kicks, counter. I'm going to do the counter press this week to the goalkeepers. I don't want the goalkeeper to be kicking out all the time. Okay, that's it. Small change. Do you find flat 4 2 not getting second ball? Nope. Second ball all the time. Yeah. I always play my 4 4 2 quite high. Mid block or high up the pitch. Yeah. I've, right now, for me, the 4 4 2 is my strongest thing. Yeah. I like 4 4 2 a lot. But like, like in all things, right? You need the players for it, right? You know, it's just one of those tactics. You need players for it. Oh, shush, shish kebabs. I forgot to do this, right? Opposition instructions. I did everything else but this. Okay, show onto right foot, keep him on the flanks. Show onto left foot, keep him on the flanks. Uh, DM. I mark this guy so they cannot pass to him. Uh, then uh, tackle harder on this guy. Tackle harder on this guy. Tackle harder on this guy. Um, wrong for this guy. Wrong for this guy. That's it. Simple, right? Okay. You be wrong for this guy. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm going to try and isolate this player. Okay. We've got one striker. One striker is not going to do much good pressing everybody. And then, you, wait, did I see prevent shot goalkeeper? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Um, yeah, okay. It's okay. You're playing high up the pitch anyway. But you have to remember, right? When you play prevent shot goalkeeper this way, when you play on a lower mentality, your players aren't as close to the goalkeeper. No? Right? So that's another thing you have to pay in mind. Right? So you, you want prevent shot goalkeeper distribution really works well on higher mentalities. I won't say it. Because on higher mentalities, your D-line and your ILOE is actually higher slightly. So now we are playing on slightly higher mentality and we are moving the ball around a bit more urgently. And we are picking the loose ball really fast. All right. And moving in because I have three players in attack as well. Again. And. Now your defensive mentality is camping in there uh, your count your balance mentality is camping in there see Mazala goes wide but he has got he, okay alright I'm gonna do something got Mazala going wide right? I want this guy to be an advance forward Mazala is going wide he can prob he can actually target this guy I noticed that just, <clears throat> he's not running the channel Poche is gonna be very close to the defender but advance forward is, will run the line because poachers don't really like attack the defensive line, right? But because they're standing close to the defenders. But the advanced forward does. So he's he's great for crossing. There we go, equalize. I prefer this setup for your 4-3-3. 
And now we change the role to a... Poacher is good because it's going to hold the attention of the defender, but so will the advance forward. Okay. Especially if, like, you know, I'm willing to sit all day long, you know, move the ball around, but I, I like advance forward because I was chasing for a goal just now. Yeah. Now they're attacking us. Let's go. All right, we're going to now switch to key highlights. This kind of formation, right? This is the this is these are what I call expensive formations. Do you have enough uh, substitutes? <laughs> Whenever I play this formation, right? You guys have come to my streams, right? I play 4-3-3. I curse and swear though. I stopped playing 4-3-3 because my team isn't good enough to have that many substitutes who can play in the center. We're not blessed with so many center bits. So I, after a while I just gave up because I play a really average team. Man, I was like, I, I can't do this anymore, man. <laughs> I gotta find less expensive formations like the 442, the 4231. <laughs> cheap, cheap. I'm a cheapskate. Like, look, your tactic. So simple. Just a few small tweaks, right? So all I would do with your tactic, right? You can, you can play this role as a poacher, advance forward, pressing forward. All three roles work. You just understand what they do. Pressing forward. Cheap, cheap. A lot. Okay, a lot of this movement he'll do for you. He keep the defense occupied. If he has got likes to break offside track, fantastic. You can play him. Almost one of the best roles to choose. Okay, great role. In moments of doubt, this is actually the role to go for. Second role I would choose is probably advance forward. Okay, right. Great if you are trying to break a defensive line. You just want, you, you know you can create because this Mazala can feed this advance forward. Right. Okay, good. Now, let's assume now you've got a player that's very strong in the air. Very strong. He's, like, he's strong in the air. He can score a lot of goals. You can actually play him as a poacher. But if you're camping and moving a team around, then you know, this guy can put one into the box and score goals. Also possible. All three roles work. Right? Depends on what you want to do. What kind of player do you have? Poachers will always like, they, they can't score, they'll pass the ball back. Kind of thing. Not bad. Target forward. <laughs> Kelvin, I love your questions. Your questions are very general. Well, it's like, you know, apple or orange. All right. Okay, we're going to this game. We got target forward AM. Let's... Okay. All right. The more I see a lot of PIs, my brain processor starts to work over time. Okay, let's look at this tactic. Okay, guys. We've got WRX4231. This is this sounds like a weapon of mass destruction. Take more risk. Take pass it shorter. Take more risk. Pass. No... Why is he got passy shorter here and then yeah all right so you got this guy shoot less often this guy take more risks this guy take more risks shoot less often what the heck is going on here man? wait the more i see a lot of pis i get confused i don't i don't see the need for so many pis in tactics passy shorter sit narrower affects your defensive transitions and this is the problem Using a role that sits in a half space, these two guys, you don't want to create problems for that. Let's play and watch it. Because wing bank and inverter winger, they do a natural overlap. Because the inverter winger always comes inside, right? He comes inside. Now your wing back, you've told him as well, I don't want you to go to the outside. So basically, got two roles there. Neither one is taking the responsibility for the flanks. That's what you basically told this guy to do, right? So we'll just watch this on extended highlights first half. I personally, I would just make a few changes. Like the one change I will make straight away would be to remove the sit narrow on this guy so that he works much better with the volante. And these these guys can bring the ball forward. This inverter winger is on attack duty. I'll probably turn this guy into a support duty so that we get better transitions down the left. That way we can create chances on the open. What will happen is because you got inverter winger on attack, right? These guys are gonna attack the area. I mean, they, they, if those inverter wingers, the left side will create chances, right? And they will, you'll see these guys that like he's coming to the area to shoot already. But remember, he's a winger right now. Uh, Chelsea got a lot of money, man. They smashed. Them. It's more like they, how much money? Do, how, how, how much money do you need? Oh man, don't worry about money, man. This season. We're just dropping the treasure chest in front of the manager. <laughs> manager is like, gone to, the, gone to look for treasure. 
Text marks the spot. Open the thing on his three eyes. This is Alibaba's cave, man. <laughs> oh my God, there's so much gold. I don't know what to do with the gold. Huh? That's the life of that manager. Look at the number of yellow cards your, your, your tactic is picked up. Man, it's always a bad sign. I always, when I see a tactic picking up so many yellow cards, it's not good. You know? A lot of it's down to the fact that people are PIing like tackle harder or they're using, you don't need to do that. I'm always, I am dead set against the PI tackle harder. Dead set against it. I hardly ever use it. Maybe with the strikers, I want mean, to do, do a forward press. But most of the time, I use OIs to specify who want to tackle harder. And you can see the goal. I'm keeping my hands to myself. Huh? This is your tactic first. We'll try and recover after this. Okay. Hands to myself. Hands to myself. Hands to myself. That was always going to be a quiet day. Well, the one I told you that yesterday. You, all of us there, or Liverpool's going to say somebody say, eh, eh, not happening. Liverpool saving all their money and resources for one player called Jude Bellingham. That's it. They're saving for the summer and then you guess what? They go in to make an offer for Jude Bellingham, come Manchester City and Real Madrid with double, with much more on the table. Yeah, there's some it's gonna happen. Just watch. Jude Bellingham is the main one right now. Okay, what's going on here? Why is everybody like stop all these tackle harder guys? Don't need it. <laughs> it's not gonna make your tactic better. <laughs> and this is not necessary. Okay, look this 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 uh sit narrow, remove it. Pass it shorter, why? He's already got a long way to run. You want him to pass it shorter? What if he can't get anybody to pass it to? He's gonna like, he's gonna remember you for the rest of his life, no? Yeah, you told me to pass it short. I couldn't pass it to anyone. No, that's his reaction. Yeah, he's gonna be screaming at you after that. Don't take this out. Don't do that. Don't do that. Hey God, I don't wonder he was got a yellow card. Dribble, <laughs> you're the first guy I've seen, right? I'm the one adding dribble ball. You're the first one. Please don't dribble. Please don't dribble. Okay, 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 okay. I get it. Okay, I mean, I would probably just take one off, yeah? Uh, he still... Otherwise, why play ball playing defender? You want him to hoof the ball up. Then, uh, kind of defeats the purpose, right? Of the ball playing defender. Okay. Like, inverter wingers, pass it shorter, take more risk. Okay, we got to leave this off. We'll see what happens here. Okay, tackle harder. Please come off, uh, you know? Seriously, there's no need for all this, man. This is... This is, this is, this is, this is too much. Too much. Please, please, please. Everybody's tackling harder. You got something against the world, is it? Might as well just come in here and tackle harder here. Okay, this is the best place to do it. The other option, like I've always said, many, many times, okay, 4 for 2 right? Chances are, i got one ball in mini midfielder. My, my 4 for 2 has got double ball for mini midfielders. Inspired by the, I, I was, it's not like I came up with this genius tactic. I've been playing 4 for 2 for quite a while, for quite a few versions of football manager. But then one day I was playing the game. One day I was happily playing the game. And guess what? I lost 5 nil to the AI. I was so insulted because I thought my tactic was good. Okay. Then I looked at that tactic and I discovered, right? He had two ball winning midfielders there. Immediately I said, that's it. I'm not going to be beaten by this tactic. You know? Uh, if you can't beat them, join them. I created my own ball winning midfielder special. And then never again has the AI beaten me with a 4-4-2. And when I'm playing the 4-4-2. Okay. So this guy's going to cross. This guy's going to cross. Okay, that's it, right? Tackle harder these two only, okay? All right, keep it simple. Huh? These are the ones you want to break now. You don't need to break down anybody's... Don't have to break anybody's legs. That's it, keep it simple. Okay, let's do that. All right, now, let's look at the rest of the tactic. Ta target forward, pulls up the ball for who? He drops, but he's got no... Why? If he drops, he's got to give it to somebody, right? But there's nobody else here who says he wants to score the goal. I want to create. I want to create. I'm dropping deep. So this guy, what's he going to do? Okay. Maybe you turn him to a shadow striker. Okay. Then you only got these two holding hands. Target forward comes, shadow striker goes to score goal. Like only one combination. A bit sad, right? So let's just leave this alone. Uh, I would say this guy is better served as a DLF on attack. Okay. You play this guy as an A, A, maybe an AM on support, right? Let's, well, let's just go AP on support. Just keep it as AP on support. All right. Now you got to play a holes and may even score goals. Okay. Done. Now we've got this guy running like a... The, okay, he's going to run down the flanks. This guy is going to come inside, okay? Pass it shorter, take more risk. No need. Take more risk is a PI that affects a lot of things. Movement, passing, you know, he just tells him to go out there and do riskier things, right? Yeah, this guy is going to come up here. This guy is going to come overlap, overlap. Why? Okay, if this guy overlaps... Yeah, I mean, you want to know, I give you a natural overlap without the overlap, huh? 
take out, take out. Focus play. Remove pass into space. Remove a ball into box. Right defense. Remove that as well. Okay. All right. We remove all that. Okay. So now I just remove this. Now I get a natural overlap. Right. Okay. I will tell now DLF on attack inside inverted winger. Okay. We just go inside for an attack. At least get this guy to get into the area to try to score. Okay. All right. Something like this. I know you got a target man kind of play here, right? So what you can do is uh, all these guys are crossing the ball. Ding, ding, ding. Cross to center. Ding, ding, ding. I think he got crossed to center too. Now they will cross the ball into the central areas of the area. Oh, might even target that guy. All right, ball winning if you don't defend. Um, yeah. I mean, why so safe? Okay, just leave him as a D. Yeah, take him, take off, take him off the support duty. You don't need to because you don't need to lock him down. Yeah. Okay, we just change a few things. How many ball winning midfielders can you play with? I'm gonna try, yeah. I think we should who, is that your re, hey Hanyo, did you put that as a did you put that as the uh, as a stick for this week this week's uh total tactics uh draft? That'll be quite fun. Four. One, two, three, four. Four, five. You can have a maximum of five, right? And much better. Right now we're attacking. Okay, attack, right? This mentality, quite aggressive, right? So they'll take a lot of risks. But okay, now we are goal down. Yeah. Now guy goes in, nice ball, goes wide, plays it into the air. Inverted wingers do a lot of that, right? But now they're crossing as well because we told them to cross their positions. Okay, good. Uh, now you can't tackle. You see what the yellow, all that tackle harder did? All that tackle harder. Doesn't mean that he won't tackle, but now, you know, he'll be a bit more, he, he might let players run past him. So I would change I would change this tactic slightly, but keep it like this. I mean you can actually play this guy as a shadow striker. Yeah, I mean this guy can be a ball when he made. This guy can carry. I mean, there's a lot of aggression in a tactic. <laughs> Bring back support. Or a tactic is very attacking. You don't need to be so attacking. So you can just do it like that. Even if you want, you can just do DLF on support. Now this guy drops in. Focus blade on the left, overlap left. I'll remove the overlap. You don't need it. Okay. Okay, so slightly higher tempo. Throw to fullback distribute. Okay, fine. Much more often prevent short goalkeeper distribution. Okay, all right. Now we're gonna do something in the center. Um, Kunia, Kunia, Kunia is what right footed, right? Carrasco is this Carrasco come here. Korea is a uh, right winger, mm, into the winger. You come here, Kunia. No, oh, you you're just as bad. Okay, you come here. I think we're gonna have Carrasco then. Carrasco left footed. Um, we are here. I don't know, man. One of these guys has to come off. There's too many headaches. Okay, all right. Okay, then we got Saul. Uh, and um, Axel Witzel. Okay, this. Oh no, this guy is a volante, right? Volante on the tank. Okay, done. Keep it simple. So I got this wing back moving up. Volante, ball winning midfielder Molina. Molina, we use Koke. I I am not new Sean Dyke for 4 2 Love. I always I, no. <laughs> guys. The only problem is right, you guys never saw me playing. That's the thing. So people assume I never I did the 442 guy. I did, I was playing 442 in beta alpha and beta all the way. And then I shared my 442 tactic with uh FM Guru also. I shared look at the number of goals I'm scoring with this tactic is insane. That I gave him the tactic as well. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I internally I have friends. Uh, I mean I don't have to I don't stream everything. Why? I don't see the need to. I'm not like I'm not like like possessive over my tactics. Just like you know, people you know, whatever, you know. Everybody's gonna end up it's like are they kunya I got yellow card, right? Yeah, this is what happens when you put tack tackle uh this is what will happen, right? If you tackle hard everybody you play attacking mentality. You have to see this. You don't wanna do this tackle harder and attacking mentality at the same time. Never do that. Attack, attacking mentality first tells the team to take a lot of risks. Then you have this tackle harder where they're going, hey, hey we have been told to take a lot of risks. That's good. People are going to get sent off. So I, I definitely will remove that in a heartbeat, man. 
don't don't play that. I mean, on the whole, right, the tactic is much better now, even though we're a man down. But you can see that the flow is a bit better in terms of you know, uh, but we down a man and yeah. So I I just probably come in here if I wanted to get a result. But I would play your tactic with the DLF man. Yeah. DLF target. I don't see the point of having a target for if you have nobody coming in to you know, score goals. Yeah. In what you could do is play him as a complete forward support. Mm -hmm. Another role that would be very simple is a pressing forward support. But target forward, I don't see the point, right? There's no point. Eh? We got clobbered. Too much, there's too much, uh, like, um, too many moving parts in a tactic. So, you got so many attack duties. And then you got nothing, and you're playing on a very aggressive mentality with tackle harder. It's a, there are a lot of issues with the tactic. So I would definitely, if you want to play on very high attacking mentality, yes, it's possible. With a lot of attacking mentalities, well, attacking duties, then I would remove all the tackle harders, right? Then I would, you need some control over a game as well, right? You see, I mean, yeah. Much better. I, I actually like how you're playing right now compared to just now so at least see your tactic again right so let's go to your tactic so in this tactic i will probably change this guy to anything it can be a dlf on support even dlf on attack will be fine but here inside forward will be okay now these are so many attack duties here you're opening yourself up and plus on top of that pass into space so you just hoofing the ball out. All these guys are running up the pitch. Like one, two, three, four, five, six. All running up the pitch for this hopeful thing. This is something you don't do, right? So remove that, remove that. And overlap and overlap, not entirely necessary, right? You're getting these guys even high up the pitch and holding up the ball. In fact, in this kind of a setup, I would never use overlap. I'll probably use underlap, yeah. So here, pass it shorter. And then you have this pass it shorter instructions. Okay. This is uh, something I would remove. Do less often, sit narrower. Attack, I'll remove all your PIs, man. I tell you something, this tactic, I remove every single PI that you have. All the PIs. Right. This PI is not making your tactic magical. Right? All these PIs, they're not, they're not helpful. Especially tackle. Tackle harder and attacking mentality, recipe for disaster. Plus, you got passed into space. Yeah, this is this is not we'll get into a lot of trouble. So I will just remove all this. Like if you have volante on attack, volante on attack, why can't this big guy be at inside for support? Okay, but then you, do, you don't have co-creation, right? So in this particular sense, right? In this particular case, I will probably just use like an ins inverted winger here on support. This guy comes in. This guy has a natural overlap. He comes in. This guy does a natural overlap. The volante is here to support play, right? And then this player attacks the box, right? So, and this guy holds up the ball. But if you want to hold up the ball, this is a problem. You're holding up the ball for who? Who are you holding up the ball for? Right, I, this this role that holds out the ball doesn't serve a lot of purpose. A lot of purpose, unless you're the sort of person that works ball into box, moving teams around. But this is a very attacking tactic. There's hardly going to be time for that, right? You got playing on a higher tempo, so this role should actually be like a pressing forward attack. Somebody that actually occupies the defenders, keeps them under pressure, so you can move them around. A poacher pressing forward at once for these two roles. Leave this like that, and then this this guy can be a wing back on support, and you keep the. You keep the attack. This is ball winning midfielder. One ball winning midfielder does not defend enough for you, okay? So this is a lot more secure. Your defense will be a lot more secure. And you probably get a bit more out of this tactic than what you're doing right now. So this, I would drop your mentality. You can play on attacking 100%, but you I would remove all these, uh, take more risks, dribble more, tackle harder, move into, ch move into channels. I mean like, Roam and move, roam and move, move into channels means he's going in, uh, in between the space between the full the defenders as well. But why would you play this role? Why don't you just play APS? You get the take more risks, you can do the dribble more if you want. Move into channels, you get APS. At least you can use this guy to drop, and then he looks around, plays the pass. He can play this guy in as well. So many other options, uh, but this 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 would be a bit better for this tactic okay tactic coming up okay let's go 4 three, against the 4 three, three. hey Hario do you use any um, do you use any uh, OIs just out of curiosity I want to know 
You're in chat right now, so tell me if you use any OIs. If you do use any OIs, please shout out. You got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, that's it. The ramp fast, right? And they're like, as if Ani was sitting in the computer. Did not. Ah, okay, okay, okay. That was fast. Okay, thanks. Okay, with so Lorient. Oh my god, he, he really has fought with poor winning my fellows. Oh, I like this, no? I actually like this. You know why? These guys don't they, they hold their position, right? They break legs here. These guys hold their position. They don't hold their position, they break legs in the opponent's half. These guys are dropping deep, right? They break legs in the center. Oh my goodness. You don't need tackle hard, no. Deep break leg, break leg, break leg, break leg, break leg, break leg. <laughs> and these guys just running up. Oh, and you got okay, focus free to middle is fine. Overlap left, you only I know why you're using this. You're only using this for um what do you call it? Uh, initial positioning yeah can work I mean it's a fun tactic whether or not it's going to work all the time that's a different that's a different thing right altogether I'm sorry I saw, I might sound a bit tired but it's because I just spent an hour and a half being tortured in the gym by my trainer <laughs> okay so he said my fitness levels are really quite high now so he said okay now okay since your fitness levels are high you do more I'm like huh <laughs> Tortured me, man. Oh, you can do this like this. Okay, do more. Then I like it. You see, that's why it's double the ball winning midfielders right now, right? I, 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 I thought they were already very strong in FM twenty one. They're even stronger in FM twenty three, but they're not like an exploit. You know? That's good news. In FM twenty, they were. Yeah. Oi, what a goal! Jaime Mata scores against you. There's the only problem when you use ball winning midfielders, right? There's a lot. Of Control chaos, but they will open up spaces. Ah, uh. uh, replay events goals. You wanna see the goals again? That was a chaotic goal that you conceded. Okay, let me see. You got you one of those that uses? No, I know you don't use. Right? Okay, you don't use the trap inside. This 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 tactic can I use trap inside? This is a true Atletico tactic. I don't know. There's no, I, I can tell you one thing, right? The game of football manager has no true for me. There's no true tactic for any form, any team. I always, I mean, I'm one of those guys that believes you cannot replicate any tactic, 100%. You can get some movements, but to say that this is a replication of this guy's system or that guy's system, I'm like always like, yeah, right. I played the game long enough to go like, uh huh. Right, that doesn't work for me. Okay. All right, we got wing back, wing back, ball winning midfielder, ball winning midfielder. Okay. okay, the only thing right now with this tactic, right? What I would do is this, okay? Yeah, 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 okay. So we got oh, pass into space, ball ball into ball. Still pressing for defend. Nothing. No pass into space, no nothing. And they don't run into space, they drop, right? Right, focus play to the middle, underline. Like, I can see this happening, dribble last. Okay. I probably will push up a bit more, higher defense, it does step up more I don't worry about the crosses don't even don't uh, you're not pretty much all this position is not your friend because you don't have the four you, three, at least three that you need in the opponent's half to actually make it come uh, for it to actually uh, come off very well so I will probably play without it okay I'm gonna play gonna take out Kondongmia and play Saul in front no this is back right so I'm gonna take off Axel Witzel play Rodrigo de Paul, he's a bit more creative. This guy's a bit more creative. And then Saul, does he have uh try scalar ball shoots from distance? Okay. Uh play him instead of this guy. Okay, done. So we got Loriente and Coke behind. This guy is uh comes deep to get the ball dictates. Okay. This guy shoots on his okay, done. Runs with ball rally. Nice. Okay. So we got two guys in front. The two ball winning midfielders I'm using in front are a bit more creative. Right? Okay. The other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here. This guy, I'm gonna tell you to stay wider. Run wide with ball. I'm gonna do this guy, stay wider. Run wide with ball. Okay, we just add this guys. Because yeah, I need them to get away, right, to this side. So then there's a bit more support. So they come out a bit more. Right now they are quite close to these guys, right? Um Koke comes back with so okay good on uh, 
the problem is right those wing those wing backs need to pass the ball and then your your Phoenix just got sent off <laughs> we're down to one one pressing forward um focus play focus play left and right okay I wouldn't focus play to the middle either because you got left back and right back <laughs> Yeah, the problem with mentality, right? Mentality is just risk. Yeah, in the game of football manager. It's just risk. Yeah. It's not a question of um, the mentality uh, would be this manager's mentality is that. That also, I wouldn't agree with people. If they come to me and tell me, Jose Mourinho is a uh, Count cautious and this guy is balanced and this guy I'll go like yeah whatever I'm I'm gonna be like that no my reaction is always whatever <laughs> I can't, no for me it's more like how they move and how they pass the ball there could be roles and duties as well I can get I can create a very attacking tactic with short passing low tempo and you won't be able to tell me and if I cover the mentality I guarantee you you cannot tell me what the mentality is you'll get it wrong. I, I I will guarantee you 100%. I will stop playing football manager tomorrow. I probably, right, with this tactic, low crosses or cutbacks, my brother. Makes better for you. Pass into space could work if any of these guys has got, gets into a position and really likes to break off side track. Focus play to the middle might be a problem. I'll probably use this. All right, and then here with these guys, I will say, maybe even, Dribble more. You get him to come out. Bring the ball to this area where the wing backs are operating. Right? These guys are gonna move in. These guys don't leave the channel. They just drop, drop, drop. They don't run here. That's the other problem with this tactic. Right? And then you got you can't do stay wide. You can do stay wider, but because they don't move into the channels. They don't come here. You need to drop deep. So this guy, I'll do the same thing. Stay wide around with ball, maybe even dribble more. So, so now these guys go wide, they go wide. These guys protect, protect. These guys, poof, poof. Up the chip. This is how I would set it up. But if you still want to play this way, I'm not going to change it. <laughs> I am. Maybe I would only have one PF, one D, man. I wouldn't have two. I wouldn't have two. I would probably give one pressing for an attack. Yeah. One PF, one D is a bit extreme. Yeah. The one pressing for attack is better because then you at least get this out. This guy can go down the, you know, can go down the flanks. But I, I would try something like this. But pass into space as well because you can't do pass into space unless you have some role that actually attacks the space. Otherwise, you're hoofing the ball for no reason and then putting the ball into spaces where there are no players. <laughs> this this instruction is not your friend. No. Because you got, where you don't have spaces or nobody's in these spaces for you to play the ball to. Yeah, so that might be a problem for you. And then, uh, slightly higher tempo, I probably wouldn't rush the tempo, I'd just keep it normal. Yeah, this is how I would do it. And then, uh, drop off more, mm, yeah, you could do drop off more, you could actually go higher, but I would definitely not use this. Because you only got two strikers, right? So these two are going to be pulled out every time you do that, you know, prevention of distribution. Yeah, and you don't really have to worry about trigger press. These, these rolls. Bombarding the middle. Yeah, I would try this out, you know. Let me know how it goes. I I, I don't know. It's not my cup of tea, lah. That's, I will say that, lah. 433 uh, Boston. Let's go. Next tactic. Yeah, looking at the clock. Yeah. I, no more, man. I gotta be very careful with tactics, right? Because we have a hard stop. We have a hard stop in exactly one hour and ten minutes. Daddy has to pick up the kids. So we, have to, we have to step up the pace now. So most of them will be on key highlights. Look at the tactics, see how it plays. Look for one or two transitions and then go into it. Okay. Four three trees are relatively easy. It's just uh, most people make mistakes. The, the mistakes most people make, and a very common mistake, is going to be your rolls on you know, the flanks. That's about it. Other than that, most of you get... most of It's the easiest formation to get right. <laughs> this is the easiest. I don't know who, what, and okay, let's go. Okay, La Liga Espanol. Yeah, let's go, brothers. Okay, let's go and see your PIs first. Oh, I love you, man. You're the first person today who's not. <laughs> and maybe you're the second person. You're the second person today who's not used every single PI. We need to. Okay, the only criticism. Okay, never mind. We play the game first. Like I said, I don't touch tactics until halfway through, right? Okay. 
What are you doing? Mid block, anchor man. Oh, this is very safe. We'll play our defense with an anchor man. What's the definite? What is the anchor man? Anchor man stays in front of the two defenders and basically, um, you know, the, the anchor man stays, stands in front of the two defenders and acts as their screen. Yeah, he protects them. He doesn't run too far away from them. Yeah, that's the problem in the anchor man. So if you want to attack, you have to kind of say, okay, we, yeah, he's just being defensive. You know, he's not going to support the. I'm not gonna push up too. I just watch, right? Okay, this is us, right? This is the anchor man. Yeah, he ain't moving far, man. <laughs> He's always gonna be close in relation to these two. You see this? Nah, nah. He goes like, okay, I'm out. I'm not. I'm just here, eh? protecting. I'm protecting. See this? I'm protecting. I'm not. I'm not going far. Don't think of passing the ball to me. Okay, you do the work now. Okay, good. Okay, now you go. All right, I'm here now. Okay, I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. I'm holding his hand. Look that. This is the anchor man. So the anchor man is actually very, very safe. You know why he's very safe? When the guys around him are psychotically crazy. Okay. So if I have like inverted wing back on attack, inverted wing back on attack, and I want to play a Segundo Volante on attack, Segundo Volante, I'll put an anchor man there. <laughs> like, you know, I'm scared as hell, right? I might do that then. Then he's he's not gonna leave. But the only problem is he's not gonna overcommit, you know, very early. So that's the thing. Whereas if you play a DM, he's gonna commit, right, to the ball that comes over the top. So, I mean, the role is not wrong. I'm not saying it's a role because you're a roaming playmaker and a Mazala, Mazala there, right? So, I'm thinking maybe you're thinking that a roaming playmaker is going to drift. Mazala is going to go into the half space. I'm looking to, I'm looking for a role that's relatively safe. You know, it's going to protect the area. Okay, fine. I get it. Less, but the problem right now for you is you're not really creating very much, right? Okay. All right, so we identify. I think I identify why you're not creating very much, but, you know, I don't know yet. <laughs> Like, where well, I get goes and then comes in, reads the game very well. Okay, what is this inverted wing back doing? Okay, all right, putting pressure, but that's about it. Okay, getting to the third. I mean, you, you're probably gonna depend on your team's overall fitness level after the six, 70 minute mark to bash teams with your physical prowess and your technical ability, that kind of thing, right? With this kind of tactic. Thing. So, with 26 minutes, let's go to key highlights. You've seen enough of the highlights, right? Okay. So the, another thing you can do is this kind of tactics. Look at action zones. Most of your possession is actually in your half. See this? So you spend most of the time in your own half. Most of the time in your own half. That says a lot. That in spite of your, in spite of this team's uh, obvious technical ability over Espanol, they aren't attacking them nearly as well nearly as much. Okay, but it could be a defensive tactic, right? It could be a defensive tactic. Okay. Yeah, I've done the breaking legs. So I like to break legs with OIs. <laughs> I break legs with OIs all the time. You <laughs> come to my streams, you see me identify players, I break his leg. I will put one guy on OI, everybody in my team is going to break his leg. That's it. That's, that's beautiful. Like Lionel Messi, Neymar, I used to, we do that all the time. Come on, guys, that's better. That way, we, that way I don't have the players who are not capable of tackling hard, tackling hard. Yeah, see, if you can control the match, right, you've got no issues with this tactic. The anchorman is very safe. A very safe role. Okay. Looking at this tactic, you see, anchorman is quite good. So you, you, because you see, it makes sense in this setup because you can mess going and roaming playmaker. And you don't want to be too aggressive, right? You got this creative, creative um, role here, inverted winger, right? So he comes into the half space. So this guy has a natural overlap. You don't have to ask for overlaps. Right, once what port attacking? Okay, fine. You got one, one player to attack. You got inverted wing back coming into this area because Mazar is going. In. Yeah, fine. This guy is gonna stay wide. Um, he's gonna create for this guy as well. Yeah, it's gonna hold the position. Mazala is here. There's nothing wrong with this type thing, you know. Yeah, I mean that wouldn't change anything. Yeah, it's a good tactic. Yeah, mid block. Yeah, fine. Keep it this way. Play our defense is fine. You know, you play it out and then you draw teams and you create the chances for the counter. That's it. As long as you can get the ball to these guys, right? 
I mean, if you have a if you have a player here who's got very good passing, like killer balls, let's see if we've got one. Tries long range passes can do it. I think Lorente has got comes deep to build what dictates tempo, tries long range passes. Yeah. We do have a killer ball player. Tries killer ball. Okay, we're gonna second half, right? We're gonna play Saul here instead. Okay. Sometimes you might have players with very good passing range as well. And they can play anchor man and then still turn in those kind of glory passes. See your fullback on attack. Comes back. Look at how safe that role is. Right, okay, you know, he'll do a natural overlap. Okay, your anchor man not running too far away. And he comes inside. Mazala, Korea. Nice. Gets inside. Wait, there's nothing wrong with this tactic. Brilliant. I love this tactic. Very simple, very effective. Do not change anything. I mean, there's nothing to change. I'm not going to justify my this show by saying, ah, you need to do this, you need to do this. No, it's perfectly okay the way it is. Full back, full back. Yeah, inverted. It's a great tactic. Man, small nitpick, you know, you know, Romy playmaker, but this is good. Fullback, this is a creative fulcrum. Yeah. Fullback is saying, hey, you know what? I'm, I, I think there are better players in front of me that can play great passes. There's an inverted winger. There's a Romy playmaker. Fullback won't try anything stupid. Uh, simple. I like this tactic. Keep it. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Let's go. Key highlights. There's nothing for me. If I there's nothing for me to change, I'm not changing. Okay? All right. There we go. Nice. Look at that fullback. Place it to this guy. Nice move. All, he did, all we needed is Erling Haaland. <laughs> if, yeah, it's not very often I see a 442 being completely dismantled on a football manager. This, okay, this is not one of the better 442. This is one of the worst 442s, in fact, in the game. Yeah, it's not a very good 442. But it does well because these two are creative fulcrums. Left side, you've got one. Right side, you've got one. You don't even need to make changes. Yeah, leave it. Yeah, great tactic. Yeah, first, the first one we had, uh, where I didn't have to make a single change. So everybody, everybody's going, I, I'm so sorry, we just did this tactic. Everyone's rushing to the tactics to remove all the PIs. Okay, I, I, okay, guys, I need whiskey. Hold on, let me find my drink. I need a drink, I need a drink, man. What in the world is this monstrosity? Why are you doing it to me? Hey guys, seriously, you know, life is short though. Don't give me a tactic where I gotta crack my brain. I'm sitting on here going, what? I just got tortured by my train. Now you torture me with this. Oh, thank God we play Copa <laughs> We're we playing one Mickey Mouse. I'm going to try a tactic here, man. We are co hey, hello, hello. We are doing bring your tactics with Atletico Madrid and we're still second on the table, okay? Oh no, we might have dropped off. I mean, we, no, oh, we are fifth. Yeah, we dropped off after that Mickey Mouse show. <laughs> why, why, why? Play our defense. And yes, it's a nice TI. It can be used under any circumstances. But the reason why it's such an effective TI is, okay, play our defense actually are, uh, instructs the DMs and the MCs to drop slightly deeper so that you can play the ball out. In doing so, you drawing the opposition higher up the pitch. When you do that, it's perfect for the, count, for the, the ball over the top. So you don't need to have player defense for every single tactic. But when you do think about how you can use it as a weapon, okay, we're just watching this tactic huh? because we don't know what's going on with this tactic. One, two, three defenders. No, oh, I like I like the way you got width, man. Natural width from your roles. This is your role selection in your PI. Yeah. Nice, nice. Okay, go. Over the top. It must be working for you, man. Wow. Now we go into your PIs. DLF will go white. Yep, 100. Yep. Passive forward will go white. Okay, I can see these two rows going. Poacher stay in the box. AP will roam from position. I can go white. Mazala are coming. Okay, I, okay I, I see how this works. White center back coming here. White center back coming here. Volante going this half back. Okay, I, I can see how this works, man. It's not bad. Actually, very well thought out tactic. Thank you very much. I take everything back. This is a nice tactic. It is a nice tactic. Because you're putting so much pressure on them in the final third, right? That it, they will have a problem playing the ball out from defense. So all you need is players that can carry the ball. What you really want this you did, when you create this tactic is players with good dribbling and off the ball. You get players with good dribbling off the ball, you are gonna tear teams a hole. They can't they can't get out of. Right? This is nice. DLF will drop deep, right? And then the nice thing about DLF, right? You move into the channels, and on top of that, you can play the pass into the area. Korea is going. I got too. I'm doing too much work. Can you give some? Bring on a defender. 
I'd rather a poacher. Simple and sexy. Ah. Yeah, four version. Is this your tactic, Simji? Is this yours? Man, this is a good tactic, no? If this is your tactic, it's not bad. It's not a bad tactic. Yeah, this is a good tactic. I like it, man. Wow, you come a long way, you know, from the from the person that only played the 4-4. Four, four. What is it? The box tactics, right? Used to play. Now, this is actually not a bad tactic. Because I, I can see the thought processes that went into this tactic. Maybe the halfback I would change. I would change the halfback. Yeah. Halfback, maybe I'll change this. I'll play him as a DM on defense. Not halfback. I don't need the splitting effect. Keep him anchored. Maybe even, even DM on support. Because you don't need the three effect, no. You just need somebody to to give you a bit more security. All right. So you get this guy coming here. All right. So it's not bad, right? This DM, you see the DM now has moved into this area. So it's a half back you play DM. Uh, I, I will play a DM. Not half back. Half back is no guarantee, man. Oh, this is not bad. I actually like this tactic. If you like doing a video, it's a Simji's fantastic tactic. Hey, this is a good tactic, no? I mean, okay, I know, like, we're playing against a Mickey Mouse side. But the thing is this, right? Even against a weak side, right? Um, If your tactic can't generate movement, it won't generate movement, right? Okay? People might say, oh, you're playing a weak side, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, you know, any kind of tactic will do well. But seriously, it has to create the movement for you to score, right? <laughs> This game isn't about, you know, put any bunch of players. See, the thing is, you see this, okay, the movement is there, except we, uh, we put in a poacher that can't really do much. Uh, we consider the goal. So the weakness, there is there are some definite weaknesses in this system. Okay, let's, uh, I can't see this one. This guy, guys, so this is the Rodrigo de Paul, this guy, this guy. Yeah, they did. this is the defender. Okay, so that was the defender's error. So I would say this guy, Anticipation 15, positioning Hermoso 15, 13. This guy, oh, anticipation 15, aggression, jumping vision. Okay, I would have put this guy here. Okay, wrong player in the center. Whereas, or, I don't think about three man defenses, right? If you pick the wrong central defender, it's always very expensive. I think we have to play him here. That'll be fine. This position is easily the most important position. So you got the rare we go now. So it's a lot better now. Because the AI is always gonna kick the ball, right? So you got the player there. Winning the you winning the second ball. So it, so just now when I saw the the goal that was conceded, it's very obvious that the goal that was conceded was because we weren't using this game is very predictable. You in a three-man defense, right? Let's say I don't have my best defender in the center. It's just the question of this guy having very good anticipation and positioning, right? So, and someone is playing on cover. So he needs to know where to stand. Right, he's looking at the, looking at his position quite good. This is good, man. I, I think it's a good tactic. It's a good tactic. Can we speed things up? Because a lot of goals coming. <laughs> okay, again. Go oh, bang. Okay, good. Pressing, following, following. Nice, 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 nice. You yeah, know, every Tom Dick. Okay, that was a. Okay, I'm sorry. That's a rocket from like the other side of the solar system. Man. That guy scored a brilliant. This guy, man. Yeah, okay, let's go. Wow, did he score this? Yeah, nobody came in on him. Okay, your tactic also needs this. Opposition instructions. You need to hard tackle all these guys. Yeah, you need to do this in your tactic. You need to actually uh, put the pressure on the DMs, this this DM. So what happens? You, you have players close by. This Mazala has already left the area, right? So when the opposition have the ball, this Mazala and your AP also get involved in putting pressure on their center mids because you cannot allow the center. Sometimes you get these long shots happening, and it usually the long shots come from who? Those center mids, right? So that's how I always have um, them under uh, OIs. Good defending. Yeah, you're always going to have problems. Like, I mean, you. I'm not saying it's a perfect tactic. I do think that you're vulnerable on the flanks. Yeah. yeah you can see the two cheap goals. Huh?
And the guy that's the players that are performing the best are the th- two guys on the left and the right. Top crosses. I don't know how it might. I don't know how it will help. Because right at the moment, right? Yeah, you see, again, you see, your weakness is all the flanks. Even this is set piece, no? Okay, this is set piece. Set piece, throw in, right? You see, you're defending set piece, throw in. Defender, defender, defender. This guy, this guy. Yeah, you're def- this, you gotta change the, you gotta make sure that you're always on top of this as well. So, I was always set this guy to mark ball. Yeah, the defensive set throw in as well. No problem. Stop crosses might help. Yeah, I would try it. Yeah, because I now have to do the due diligence. Right? Them kids are. I'm five minutes late to pick up my kids. So I hope uh, this helped you guys. I hope this guys. I really hope this helped you guys. Now don't forget we do this every week. I'm trying to cover as much tactics as I can. The kids' holidays are starting soon, which means I can play with more tactics for longer. When you do you bring your tactics. It's just that it's school day. School day means I have to pick them up without fail. I have to bring them back. And daddy has to read stories to them. Daddy has to help my children with phonics as if I can pronounce things properly. But you know, children being at their age, it's kind of tough, right? And um, yeah, I hope this helped. If you have any questions, you guys, you know, just drop me comments below or, you know, you know how to find me. Most of you already know how to find me. And uh, please take care of yourselves. Once again, phenomenal support. Please uh, have a good Wednesday. I'll see you very, very soon for another round of our Journeyman Save that continues tomorrow on this channel. Meanwhile, there are other shows going on other channels too. So don't forget to check out those as well. Stay safe, guys. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.